So I thought of a comedy movie. It's really simple and it kind of tells itself. We just uh, make it all about the jokes of the past 20 years worth of terrorism and, you know, Middle Eastern events. Yeah. And it's just Tina Fey and uh, George Clooney in a movie where they, uh, you know, steal nuclear weapons, you know, like it's a, it's like a funny movie, it's a comedy. And then they steal them for the wrong side, they realize that then they have to steal them again. Yeah, and then like the most, <laughs> mo I doubled up like Ocean's Eleven to Thirteen, like ludicrous, like hyper, wouldn't work, but it's hilarious, you know, not like slapstick, like it's, it's more mature than that, come on now. Yeah, so like, you know, it's it's semi works. You know, for example, uh you distract everybody with a fireworks display while you sneak off with an entire train that has the nuclear weapon yeah, on it, yeah, you know. With the enormous fireworks display, yes. the new fireworks that make them blind temporarily. I like it, yeah. Exactly. Used gold way too phosphor. much for, yeah, silver and gold phosphor in the fireworks. Yeah. They're all blind and then they take off with the train. <laughs> Hey, you could have Brad Pitt in there as Special Forces soldier because then it lines up with his role in the other movie. I'm just trying to get yeah. roles that make everybody think that they're just playing the same role for way too long in a movie. Yeah. So, you know, straight out of his uh, miniature role in uh, the two movies that uh, The Lost City and Caves of Fuck, then he can be in this. Makes sense. And he can be with his old... Oh, long lost buddy George Clooney. Let me tell you, he's like a lost treasure in and of himself. You just <laughs> open up his chest and you'll find a heart of gold, you know? Ouch. <laughs>